we can see that the Nasdaq this week has bounced between price levels and that means the price has tried to make a breakout to the upper side. We can see uh, this candle and then the next candle has made this breakout as a failed one where the price will turn back down. Immediately with this move, when the price has moved down, the price has made a bearish breakout where we can see on the Thursday the price has cancelled this bearish breakout making this one as a failed one. So we can see on the Friday the candle after making a bullish breakout, the price has confirmed that this bullish breakout is valid one where the price did not return back down, but it has bounced from this support level and it has closed very uh, on the very high price level, even moving even higher at 17681, which is all uh, at this moment all time high. Now let's go to the weekly time frame and we'll see that this week has ended as a bullish week and also we can see it is a strong bullish candle body. On the monthly time frame, the previous month has closed as a bullish one, where we can see that the price is continuing to rise in value even more. So what, what we can make a conclusion on the Nasdaq currently, that it means that the bulls are running and also ruling the, the currently market, where it is expected that the price will reach uh, around 18,000. So for now, there is no resistance level we can see that is holding the price from reaching higher price levels which means uh, Nasdaq is currently very strong and also the bulls are pushing the price on higher price levels. This is all this currently here is a, also a small, some kind of a bullish breakout to the upside and when you can see that the price is continue to rise in value. There is no return currently but we have the whole month and, uh, to see the price turning back down confirm this bullish breakout as a valid one or making this one as a failed one. So before making any conclusions currently on the monthly time frame, it is the best to move on the lower time frame on the weekly and also daily. On the daily we can on the weekly we can see that the price did not return back down, uh, canceling this strong bullish movement, but it has continued to rise in value. So for now, as it looks, uh, it is expected that the price will try uh, to move to the higher price levels, and the first one where the price could stop is this one around 18,000. It's a round number. Now if we go to the daily time frame, we can see that this bullish breakout that has happened on the Thursday has been confirmed with the Friday bullish candle, which means for me that the price will move to the higher price levels. And that means the first stop is 18,000. Is there any kind of a smaller resistance that will prevent the price from reaching higher price levels? That depends. Everything can happen and also the market can also return back down from some kind of uh, supply zone that could happen. Before the price reaches 18,000, I'm expecting that the price will bounce uh, earlier, which means that the bulls who have entered into the trades that are pushing the price even more up, they will try to lock their profits and get out of the market before the selling pressure starts and enter the market, pushing the price even more down. And that means they will try to exit before reaching the higher price, which means 18,000 as a round number. So if that happens or something happens on the market, for example, the price returns back down around support level, making a breakout or some kind of uh, price action signal happens that will suggest that the price will drop even uh, that the price will drop down. I will share that inside the inside trading community where the link will be below in the description below this video. If you would like to check that and also check the daily analysis when something happens on the market, feel free to check that and see you inside. Happy trading! That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading!